you, you have not married somebody, he's already telling you that you should dance for him naked on phone. And you will now put the phone, you will now put it in, you will now set it. Hey, hey Jonah, Python, spirit of Python. You will now go. You are already trapped by the devil. Hello and welcome right here to yet another interesting video as we look at the person of Pastor Richard Minnett. Some of you are saying, George, the last video you made, ah, it's like you were criticizing him. What he was saying was true, just that Jesus is not too style, but he was just trying to relate with people, you know, in, I say, okay, sorry, I am very sorry. Those who were not happy that I, that I reacted, I, but I did not say anything now. Uh -huh. So he has dropped another quote right here. He posted this recently on his Instagram to advise us brothers. This is what he said right here. Listen, you oh, uh -huh. Some men are so evil that the only thing they buy for a woman is bra and pants. And once they buy it, you must wear it for them to see whether it size you. So, did it fit? Is, was it okay? He said, it's okay. I didn't really know my size. He said, oh, it was your size? I can't believe. Can you snap it and send it to me? Elements in human skin. Snap it and say, Nova talk with you define. Listen to me. Don't only give bra and pants. Give the lady, give her jump form. Give her university form. Give her scholarship to go and read abroad. Learn to give things that will add up to your life and value to your destiny. Okay, now that was quite an interesting one too. But you could tell me what you think right there in the comments because, of course, even though men are seen most times to be like givers, in gear, in gear, they were like ladies are good at. If it's Dr. Miles Monroe, he would say, You have to cultivate your woman. Women are amplifiers, women are multipliers. So, you the, the woman is your is your field to cultivate and so most times i know why it's always on the side of the man to always give the woman which actually makes sense so what he's saying right here okay giving for this but sometimes women could say give me money for this give me money for this but there isn't that money for something else you understand uh oh, but okay it makes sense but this there was a funny one that i got to see of him where he talked about let me get to show you that one Listen to this. Continue. Continue to use breasts. Continue to be doing like this. Mr. Health. I look at our status. I cry every day. Your status Sexy is your state boy. before God. Sexy. All these things you are doing on status, elders. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Why should I stop it? They that sow to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. To be carnally minded, we only produce death. Marriages are no more working because we are building on ephemeral values. Values that are not real. Things that are not real. Child of God, stop it! They have sown to the wind. As I live, says the Lord, surely they will reap the whirlwind. Continue. Con okay, now this makes sense. Okay, make a note talk. I'm making no be like saying a judge talk. I'm. Listen to the wife of one of the biggest pastors right here in Nigeria. Bishop Oyedepo's wife, talk to you women. Oh. Make a note talk. Young ladies, don't dress like a grandmother when you are believing God for a spouse. Shout it loud, amen. Don't you see? Open your eyes and shine your eyes. Because if you look like a grandmother, by the time you get married, what will happen? Hey! And men!
Amen. Praise the Lord. And you men, groom your hair. Trim your beard. So that the lady can see your face. Don't let your beard cover your eyes. We want to see you. Don't dress with your shirt flying everywhere and then you are walking around in slippers. Shout the Lord Amen. If you look, Amen. If you look like a grandfather today when you are still single, when you are 70, what will happen? Hey. Shout the Lord, Amen. So, be neat, be simple, and be smart. Be neat, be simple, and be what? Mommy, <laughs> why miss you? You missed me. <laughs> that you brought another woman into the house and you embarrassed me. Mommy, you are the one that caused it. That the way you are looking so sweet. But when you are with me, you'll be wearing bag of cement up and down. If you're always looking like this, I will never look at another woman. It's because of you I used to wear that cloth up. Because I know orange is your favorite color. No, orange is not my favorite color. Demon color is my best. Yes. I love demonic colors. Oh. Oh. It's not a fresh mommy wear. Oh. Hey! Hey, Skelly, baby. You love did I say anything now? Shebi, I have not said anything. What point am I trying to make in this video? Women have a way of... I'm not, I'm not against what this pastor has said, Pastor uh, Richard. What he has said is actually fantastic. It's more of like the way... Because men could be more of like displaying their words, showing their car, showing their this. Men are drawn by the things they see most times. That's why you see sometimes ladies, they want to take pictures, they will stand in the mirror and they just pack everything or they will just pack. Even if on, on the road, self, after taking the picture, they will go and add curves there, add curves there so that, you know, men, what they see, women most times what they hear. But that doesn't mean you should get to expose everything of you like you know that kind of thing but everyone wants to put out the best part of them out that's why you could take five to ten pictures and when you are posting you decide which one should i post which one should i not post and then which one should i edit filter add curves add boobs add whatever do photoshop and all that you understand like i'm making this video right now i get to sit in a good place environment do some color grading you think i look like this in reality no when you watch my live streams you see how i look in real so you understand what i'm saying so he makes a lot of sense right here but you, I know I have a lot of people watching me like older people, younger people. Tell me what you think in the comments. What is your opinion about this? Do you think what um, Pastor Richard said, there is uh, uh, there is no fault in it, but it's just the way he looks at things and how younger people, when they do these things, how they look at them. But in the end, I think decency, modesty is very important as Christians so we don't get to look as if we are just um, marketing um, our bodies because that is what really matters. So I think what matters to a great extent is the soul and, you know, having that element of godliness in us even though we get to be even though we try to make ourselves visible out there on the media tell me what you think in the comments i am reading them and you could tell me what you think about what you said as well it's quite interesting to watch